God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that you will continue in good works. afternoon good evening good night wherever you are tuning into this channel one verse on youtube i specifically welcome you to week 16. week 16 little by little we are making impacts little by little we are adding precept upon precept and i know in your spiritual archive you already have 15 verses and that is a great news and today by the grace of god we will bring in another astonishing verse in the scripture and I want to say, you want to use this opportunity, use this platform. So many will be asking, where is Brother Fireboy? Where is Brother Fireboy? Because in a period like yesterday, um, um, they usually see me, you know, drop by some gift card, you know, you know, screaming, Happy Mother's Day. I want to say, God bless you. God bless you, Brother Fireboy. You see here? God bless you. And I want to sound Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers around the globe. You say, this month month of grace is the month that the nation america you know chose to celebrate this special being help me god has created to, to 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 turn around you know add spice to this world without women how is the world gonna be you are a very special creation that god has no wonder the bible says for it is not good that man should be alone. Frankly speaking, without women, it will never be good for man. It will never be good. The world will never be good for man. So I want to say happy Mother's Day to all of you, outstanding, astonishing mother out there. And I want to use this opportunity to also, you know, wish the expecting mothers, fruit of the womb seekers, and let's just go ahead and pray that Father, Lord, God, King of Glory, I thank you for this one that lord god king of glory you have granted husbands and some of them for your special reasons you have you have you have postponed and waited for the time for them to celebrate their own children some have been five years some have been 10 years some have been 15 years and i come this moment to join faith with you to agree and ask that the word of god which is written that none shall be barren in the land by this time next year god will honor your prayers just like anna you will begin to bring forth those amazing children that god has orchestrated to pass through you to change the whole world thank you heavenly father and for this episode that we'll be talking about grace lord god king of glory grace 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 will be abound for us many that are not confident in them as many that are still seeking for help father thank you because i know you have answered this prayer in the mighty name of jesus amen week 16 is wonderful it's glorious you know i thought week 15 you know it's more glorious when we are talking about mount zion but i never know that god has another you know another another exploding verse for us so we are talking about second corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 and god is able to make all grace abound towards you that ye having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work wow god is able to make all grace abound towards you and we can take a look at genesis chapter 1 the bible says god created the heaven and the earth and god created all things that man will need in the Garden of Eden, as a matter of fact, there can never be any garden that can be comparable to the Garden of Eden. Because God created all things and everything was perfect. If you are thinking that we have technology right now, look at animals. They are not our enemy. In the Garden of Eden, man, the presence of man, as the dominion over them insects like mosquitoes will come and sing for you not to come and bite you not to come and you know transmit diseases onto you so that garden was perfect so looking from the beginning 
In the beginning, God has made everything available for you. So we, we, we have stated on this platform, when a sentence begins with the word and, it simply means that that word and is a conjunction connecting words, phrase, statements, clauses that are supposed to be taken jointly together. The writer of 2 Corinthians was telling us through the inspiration of God that we should not give grudgingly. That God love a cheerful giver. We should not give out of necessity. We should give because we want to give. We should give because we love God. We should give. Even though we are doing it for men, even though we are giving unto men, we should give. The way we feel free in our heart, not grudgingly. Why? Because God is able to make all grace abound towards us. Towards you that is listening to me. And when you categorically look into those sentences, those carefully chosen words by, by, by King James Version, each of every word means a lot. And it's actually coordinated to form that sentence or that um, 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 verse to give us the full scope of what God had in mind for us. Two weeks ago, we talked about the angels wondering, what is man that thou art mindful of? Frankly speaking, if you see from the eyes of God, you will know that man is of a priority to him. No wonder Jesus said, what can a man profit? What profit can you have? Putting the whole world together is not equal. It's not equal to your soul. It's not, it's not, it's not up to the exchange of your soul. Why? Because man is of utmost priority to God. In a certain place, he said, Why do you worry? Of what you will eat, what you will wear, what you will drink. He said, the lily flowers of the field. They never worry because God has provided for them to eat. You that is of more value than them. What am I saying? The rating God has for you, you must come to know about it. And that is why we talk about new creation. The, the new creation is entirely different from the fallen man. When the Bible said, as many that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, they are recreated by the raw material called Jesus. Because he said, we are all the workmanship of God through Christ Jesus. What does that mean? My raw material is no longer dust. It's Christ Jesus. But the emphasis here is that Next time when you are about to give something, look at the word, all. All. God is able to make all grace abound towards you. God is not like man that will always expect, you know, anyhow man want to bless you to some extent. Majority of it, most of the times, even nine out of ten, there is a motive behind it. Sometimes he wants to give you something, you know, in exchange of what he wants from you. Most of the times, like as many that have come to the point of, you know, having in their mind uh, 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 the kind of social class they belong to, they want to behave like devil. How much loyalty you have for, you, for me before they can give something to you? They want to think about the loyalty that they will gain as a return of giving this to you. But God is not like that. God is self-sufficient. And so when anything is doing, it is doing based on his caliber, his kind of person. And that is why, you know, personally, I call him the serendipity of God. The God that will give you what you did not ask for. What you did not bargain for. Now, next time when you want to give, have at the front of your mind that God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that you will continue in good works. In all sufficiency, any kind of good work 
you are about to do, God is able to make all grace abound. Brethren, I want to encourage you. I want to charge you. Giving is one of the weapons of our warfare. When Peter visited Colinus, what necessitated the, 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 the heavens to command Peter to go visit Colinus was because of Colinus giving. This was a man that gives, you know, serendipitously. He never mind what he, he, he has a record, he has an integrity. Bible said the heavens have remembered him. It was revealed unto him in a dream that is given as voice that have, you know, become a memorial for him in heaven. And God has to show, break every barrier beyond Gentiles and Jews to extend that Holy Spirit unto him. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye may have been in all sufficiency, all sufficiency at every point in time, that you come to that point where you no longer lack any good thing. Remember in a certain space, for all those who are joining us for the very first time on this platform, we just walk with one verse. And in a day like this, we only consider um, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And that is why you see me not quoting other scriptures, but just taking the content of these verses to support my point. I will say that the Lord is our shield. And if you go down to that verse, he said he will not withhold any good thing from the righteous. God will not withhold any good thing from you. So don't be stingy, don't be self-centered, not to give out good, not to do good works. When we hear about Jesus, that God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and power, to do what? To go about doing good works. Everything you have is given unto you through the grace of God. You know the meaning of grace. Unmerited divine assistance. And that's why I love this country, America. Choosing the month of grace to celebrate the assistance that God gave to man. Mothers. They are wonderful creatures. Someone once said that give a woman a house, she will make it a home. They are lovely creations. You know, we celebrate them yesterday and we celebrate them all through this month and we celebrate them all through this year. Mothers are uncompromising grace that God has given to men. I'm talking about mothers indeed. Mothers indeed. But what is the bone of contention here? I bring to you, my brethren, that paraventure, you are, you are thinking that, oh, the church is asking you to, 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 to pay so much money, to pay tithe, to bring and uh, first fruit. To the... No, 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 no. Quit, quit, quit giving grudgingly. The money is yours. You can decide not to give. Nobody is forcing, nobody is putting gun on your head. But next time when you want to give, give cheerfully. Why? Because God is able to make all grace abound towards you. And you just give. But guess what? That grace to live above sickness will be given unto you. The grace to do extraordinary things will be given unto you. Because of the giving of a man, more especially a Gentile, God has to break protocol for him to become the first Gentile that will receive the Holy Spirit. Can you imagine the power of giving? Can you imagine the power of giving? This is the biblical truth. I'm not just saying this because oh, people will say, oh, okay, you are, you are just saying this because um, you are a minister of the gospel. That is not the point. 
That is not the point. The point is that if we don't follow the principles laid down in the Holy Scripture, the ancient parts, we will be depriving ourselves from blessings that God has orchestrated for us. So, brethren, in respect of your time, we want to come this month of grace that you may not be bereft of any grace. This month of grace will actually speak grace to you that by your giving, doors will be open. Your giving will become a memorial in heaven. But adventure, up to now, you are still saying, oh, all this giving, 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 does not make me. No, 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 no. It's a point of contact. It's not for your pastor. It's not for anyone. Jesus said, whosoever that will give a cup of water to this little one, for my sake, I've given it to me. Because they asked him, they said, when were you in prison and we visited you? When were you hungry and we gave you food? He said, if you can do any of these things to this little one in my name, you have done it for you. No wonder when I appear to, to Saul that turned to Paul, he said, why are that persecuting me? Paul did not see Jesus persecuting. Paul was not persecuting Jesus as at that point, but he was persecuting the Christians because Jesus' philosophy was if you are doing this thing to this one, this little one in my name, you have done it to me. So, brethren, your next giving should come from the depth of your heart. Your next giving should be of memorial in heaven. Your next giving should be the door opener for you. Because remember, God is able to make all grace abound. When you see the word able, that is the person have the competence, the person have all the resources, all the skill to do it. So, what comes to your mind? He is able to do it. But eventually you have not noticed in it. Then you keep seeking for him. And that is why we started this channel. Talking about intimacy and the seeking of God. No man can do any good work without the spirit of the living God. So brethren, I also join my faith with you. That your name, your name. You see, giving is not all about money. You can give your time. Time go for America. People go for community service and it's accredited to them, even in the eyes of men. People offer little service here and there, but do it as inspired by the Holy Spirit. And God will make all grace abound towards you. Can we bow our heads in prayer? Father, we thank you, we exhort you, we give you all that glory. Because, Lord Jehovah, you are bringing this word to us that we should look into the aspect of our giving so that we will not be bereft of any blessing, any grace that you have earmarked for us. Lord, we ask, we repent for those ones that we have given grudgingly. Father, we ask that beginning from this woman that we have heard this word, let this word no longer stand against us, but let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Once more again, happy Mother's Day. And to all waiting mothers, I trust God. By next, next year, by this time, we will be also saying to you, happy Mother's Day. Thank you and have a blessed day. Until I come your way again, I remain your brother, Andrew Fineboy.